created a mythical world where um, African people who were aboard the slaver ships and, and unfortunately met a, an end in the sea um, have a, a new life new life under the water. Different groups have different feelings about what that life is, um, and that's what we're exploring in this world. Uh, the music is really quite theatrical. Um, you know, I, I'm a big fan of operas that can, can really use the music to tell the story as much as the text. One of the things I was really going for, and it really came out of Kanika's uh, libretto, was this really, this epic sense, because we're in a really an epic world, and something that captured the sounds of the ocean. Not literally, but more um, in an interpreted way. So the sense of waves and the sense of motion. And as, as the drama kind of unfolds, the waters get choppy and you hear that through the music. In this story, I think uh, the more that it has grown to me that it is about hubris, it is about a man's obsession. It's about challenging the way of the world. It's about somebody who's going to put his head down and he's going to get what he wants. And the wreckage that that makes is what makes this an interesting story. At the root of it, it's about a father who, uh, like all the mythology, all the, the history, all the brutality aside, it's about a father who really loves his daughter and really wants her to have life. And that's how I connected with the material, um, that's how I connected with the story and that's really the takeaway of the story.